Hello, everybody. Uh, hello. <laughs> Welcome to Jackie's journey. Welcome. This is video 17. Yeah. <clears throat> What are we going to do, Hannah, for video 17? Hard parts of sharing your story and being honest about who you are and where you came from. My roots. Today's Saturday, mm -hmm. and it's been like four days since <clears throat> the last video went up, which is kind of a long time because normally we've got a video recorded and we're editing it, getting ready to post it, which would be today. Right. But there's been a little bit of hesitation. Right. Why has there been hesitation, Jackie? Well, it's like we were talking about at the pool. Um, I don't want it to be, I don't want it to sound like, uh, you know, oh, Debbie Downer, woe is me kind of thing. I was like, let's talk about something upbeat. <laughs> and you didn't like that. <laughs> so we had a conversation and it kind of went like this. And you said, it's her turn. I just don't understand. Like the whole thing that you're, everything that you're doing is upbeat. Not really. Yes, I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter <clears throat> that there's some sad stories or that there's some hard things that are shared in the videos because the whole purpose is Jackie's journey, right? The whole purpose is what you went through, what you experienced in life, the decisions you had to make and what got you to where you are today and not just you but your kids and your I mean every everybody that has had um, experiences with you everyone that has been a part of your journey looks at you and looks at the stories that are shared and they're like oh my gosh like yes we were there or we saw that or it's amazing that you were able to get through that. Okay. Right? <laughs> You're so goofy. I mean, like, what the whole purpose is to share the journey. Right. Well, we're doing that. I, I just don't want to always be talking the gloomy doom, you know, it's. But the purpose is you experienced the gloomy doom and you overcame it. Right. There are so many people today that are in the gloomy doom that are going through the hard times that are struggling and they don't see a way out. Right. They don't see the ability to get past the obstacles that they're experiencing today. Right. And you were in that place. You were experiencing those obstacles. And so, of course, it's important to share them and to say, look, I was left with five kids, no job, bad credit, no house, you know, A, A B, C, D against me. All the videos. <laughs> where, where it looked like things were not going to happen the way they needed to, but look at where I am now. Right. I raised my five children. Yes. They are all successful in doing the, what they want to do. Right. They have a passion, they have a drive, they're doing it, and I am living in the Middle East. Traveling. And traveling the world. You've yeah. seen more countries in these last, I don't know how many years since, and, and it's all from the decisions that you made along your journey which is why we started you know which is why i even called it jackie's journey is because really that's what it is <laughs> talking about my journey i just um to me it doesn't it, even at the darkest times it doesn't there was no way i was going to stay there it's like no you, you gotta figure out a way um to make it happen and it's not always expecting others to do it for you it's you you have to find the way to make things different and that's you know what I've always done 
I'm still working on doing now. And that's why you sharing everything. I mean, obviously that you're comfortable sharing, but sharing your story and your journey is so important because there's some people out there that don't know how to get from point A to point B. Right. And even though when you were in the moment, you may not have thought that you were going from point A to point B, but you were. Right. And that's encouraging. That's not gloom and doom. Your time on this earth and in the experiences along your journey, I mean, we, we've talked about living in the 60s as a mixed girl and you didn't know you were mixed. Right. You were treated differently and you didn't know why you were treated that way until you went into the army when you were fresh out of high school. Nobody wanted you to go into the army, um, but you said you needed to get out of there. You wanted something different in your life and you knew that, or you believed that the army was the way to be different. And so you did it despite what everybody was saying, right? right? So then you go to the army, you learn more about who you are, then you are introduced to um, religion, God, a higher power, mm -hmm. and you then are introduced to your um, future baby daddy husband, mm -hmm. uh, and, then, and, and then and um, then you have five kids, mm -hmm. and then he leaves yeah and you are in this new place in this new area when we moved to southern maryland i mean that was fresh that was new we didn't know anybody no and the only way i mean really what got us i think what really helped was going to the church yeah. crossroads yeah and you know the welcoming of everybody and bringing us in and then yep. you met pop yep. through the church and then from there i mean he got you the job and it i mean it just all kind of developed right came together nicely what happened with 9 11 right so you went back in and then because you went back in after all the storms happened we were able to live on base which was like amazing for us because we had everything we needed we were we were taken care of it just it just kind of happened and you had people telling you don't go into the navy it's a bad idea you have five kids who's going to take care of them right but you did it it was a decision that you knew you needed to make and so you made that decision right and then from the navy i mean you were able to provide for the kids you were able to provide for us and kind of I mean really move forward from the place that we were in well I bought the house in 97 that's when it settled and then I went back in the reserves the Navy I mean the yeah the Navy reserves in 2002 to progressively get to this point you know you got to fast forward really fast um, but uh, it definitely improved dramatically after going back into the reserves and as the children got older, um, they took on their own individual personalities. And uh, Hannah went off to college. What year was that? 2005. In 2005. And way across the country. I don't know what I was thinking. In California. Well, that was based on the Sweet 16. I know, but trip. to go yeah, it was dramatic. <laughs> well, I mean, you just described what I did, yeah, and you kind of did what I did. <laughs> you know, you just, oh, that looks like a cool place to go. You yeah. just get in a plane and get off the plane, and then you're there. <laughs> no idea what it would be like, and then the fact that you're by yourself in another state, clear across the country. Yeah. Yeah, and I did not have the means to just jump and go see you. No. Oh, uh, Grammy. Grammy helped a lot with your transporting back and forth. The only time I came home was summer. Yeah, that was pretty dramatic. Mm -hmm. Wonder who you got um, that from. I don't know. Some of our experiences in church, too, when you all were getting older, were, you weren't exactly going with the grain. <laughs> and then, but we don't. 
<laughs> right. We discussed that in the last video. We've never, we have never gone with the grain. Right. Ever. We're, we're kind of like salmon. We, we swim upstream. We uh, cause a ruckus everywhere we go. Well, and it could be a positive ruckus. It, what? Or it's a, really, Bella? It's I just, said you already. We just don't go along with everything if we don't necessarily agree with it, mm -hmm. you know. And and it wasn't necessarily. Um, it was more individuals. It was people, you know. And a church is made up of a large group of people in some cases, mm -hmm. a small group of people in others. But um, and so just some some times, like either the boys or you or Naomi um, would have a difference of opinion with another child who their parents and then me and it was always it, it always seemed to be there was two parents on that side and then me and so the odds were never fair it was always but you never backed down either no no, no. I mean I, I mean, as long as I knew, now if you were wrong, you were wrong, and I, I told you you were I'm wrong. I'm never wrong. <laughs> but um, just because you don't agree and just because you don't go along with something doesn't mean that you're wrong. Mm -hmm. So usually if, if, um, if it was something like that where, um, you know, it, it was clear that there was a difference of opinion and um, what they had said was just that they didn't agree. Uh, and they weren't going to go along with something that they didn't agree with. Yeah. Well, how am I going to get upset about that? Right. <laughs> you know, I do that. You can't because you do it all a the lot. Time. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so those those situations would come up, but I think that's with anything, you know, and it is with anything. Um, in, in the next video, I think I think we should talk about some of those tough topics. Really? You're interrupting me. Thank you. Um, but the... <laughs> this is not going to work. Um, this is what we were talking about. Why don't you come and get in the camera? Come get in the camera. Come here. Look at her. Say hello. Say hello. Okay. There, see, they all see you and they love you. We are going to end the video here. This is gonna be hard. Uh, it, and it's not even, it's not hard for me. I'm okay discussing it, but I just don't know how to introduce it. We're gonna end that video here. But for the next video, it looks like we're gonna talk about some things that being raised in the church, having, um, I guess where all I know is church. I mean, this is harder than I thought it was going to be.